Welcome to A Musical Life. I'm Hugh Sung. I wanted to talk a little bit about the world of the piano from a pianist's perspective. Now, uh, I have some things I have to confess. As a young pianist, I really only knew about one make of piano. And that was a Steinway. I had a Steinway Baby Grand. It was a Model L that my father bought me when I was very, very young. And that was the only instrument that I practiced on and the only piano I really knew for many, many years. When I entered the Curtis Institute of Music at the age of 13, virtually all their pianos were also only Steinways. There was an interesting exception, though. My teacher, uh, who would go on to be my main teacher for my first four years at Curtis, was George Bolet. And George Bolet had the only Baldwin pianos, these beautiful uh, artist Got grand, you know, grand pianos, gorgeous, gorgeous Baldwin pianos, and they were really, really different. And I think I really appreciated the fact that I had a chance to experience a different type of piano that responded differently, sounded different. And of course, George Bolette, being the master colorist that he was, was able to get sounds out of those pianos that were just different than what I could experience on a Steinway piano. Anyway, uh, so I had a rather limited view of the piano world, and it wasn't until two things. Number one, I started touring around the world and visiting various countries where they had different types of pianos. Bussendorfers, I remember we were running into uh, my first Petrov and a Bohemia piano. And of course, there were Yamahas and Kawais, but uh, I was suddenly aware of Pianos like the Bussendorfer, I started to fall in love with Bussendorfer. It's like, wow, what is this piano? I'd never really experienced that before. And they all had really different, different sounds, different touches. And um, again, when I went to my very first trade show, the National Association of Music Merchants, or what we nicknamed the NAM show in California, it's the, the United States' largest music industry trade show. I'll never forget the time that I was able to go in to the piano section of the show and being blown away with the, just, just so many different makes and models of pianos. It was incredible. And yet, and yet, I, I think one of the things I've been very humbled about is the fact that I, as a pianist, knew very little, not only about the different makes and models that are out there, but I didn't really understand how pianos actually worked. Now, I understood it from an artist's point of view in terms of touching and instinct and the kinds of things I was trying to get, but to try to understand the mechanism, how it actually works. What, how does a piano actually produce sound? Why does one piano sound different than the other? Why do I encounter certain problems with pianos? And these are all things that I never really thought through until I had a chance to uh, really think about getting a piano. And of course, now being more involved in the piano industry side of things, I, it's been a wonderful experience learning about things that I sort of knew instinctively, but now I can see another level of genius, the genius of the craftsmanship, the engineering, the physics, uh, the mechanical ma marvels. I mean, pianos are, are just an incredible evolution of artistic science, of the art of physics, and uh, the fact that, I, and I think another interesting revelation, and this may be just my own observation, but the more I've been exposed to how pianos actually work, I start to realize, I don't have as much to do with getting the sound in a certain sense because the piano itself does so much of the work for me. Anyway, I found that my limited perspective on uh, how pianos are built, what differentiates them, how to tell a good piano from a bad piano, beyond just simply playing and thinking about, oh, this sounds good or that doesn't sound good, um, I, I realized I really had a very limited knowledge. And that's embarrassing as a professional pianist to have to confess that. Hence, I think uh, it's really important for not only concert pianists, but much more so for the average person who maybe has never played a piano, 
customer or, or a young student or parents looking to get their child's first piano or, or the older hobbyist that's looking to start piano lessons. How do you even know where to begin? And this is where I really wanted to point you to an amazing resource. Back in the 1980s, a gentleman by the name of Larry Fine wrote a seminal book called The Piano Book, quite simply. And it was just a, 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 a wonderful book that explained everything from a piano technician's point of view about how a piano works, what to look for. It, it was essentially the best buying guide for the layperson, for the consumer, assuming they knew nothing about the piano. Wonderful book. I enjoyed it, and I learned so much from that book. Larry went on as the, uh, the internet took hold. He went on to develop that book into a website, pianobuyer.com. And this is a, a massive site that has articles, reviews, uh, synopsis of all the different major brands of pianos. And again, I, another thing I took away from my visit to the NAM show was actually a, a huge bit of encouragement. You know, I had always, one of the concerns, of course, I had as a, as a classical pianist is a concern for the survival of my art and the survival of the piano. You know, to see, I would love to see more people enjoy and fall in love with the piano. And, you know, we've heard um, troubling news about the state of classical music, and, I, and I, I'm concerned about the future of it as well as uh, all of my colleagues are. Going to that NAMM show and seeing how vibrant, how varied, how so many different manufacturers have such a passion to create great pianos, that's an encouragement to me. It showed me a, a whole new side of the piano world to see that, yes, it is a thriving, thriving world. That uh, there are a lot of people that are trying to do good business through selling and making pianos. And just to see that level of activity gave me a lot of hope for the future of my art. And I think it all comes together in terms of the, the manufacturers, the, the consumers, the artists, and the more synergy, synergy there is to help each other understand what we all do, I think we all benefit. And I don't think I can thank Larry Fine enough for being such a pioneer to help the average person understand pianos, understand best practices, how to find the best pianos, how do I identify the lemons. Now, after all his work with the website, Larry has come up with a brand new book. It's kind of a distillation. This is called The Best of Acoustic and Digital Piano Buyer because uh, while the vast majority of the book covers, of course, the acoustic grand and upright pianos, it also spends a good deal of time helping to explain the, the digital pianos. Now, let me just make a little differentiation. The digital pianos in terms of the digital pianos that try to emulate the acoustic ones as closely as possible. So you're not going to see reviews of um, synthesizers, for example. Um, but these are going to be instruments that you know are, have more of the acoustic piano characteristics. And some of the things I love about this book, again, he, he's pulling in a distillation of the best articles from the pianobuyer.com website. Best piano uh, articles covering topics like how to buy a piano. What, what is a piano? how to differentiate between different types of piano, how to take care of a piano, and even how to sell one, how to donate one, how to get, how, how to get rid of your piano, when you're, and of course, decisions on whether or not you want to restore, making an old piano brand new again. And of course, a great overview of the, the different technologies related to the piano, because as wonderful as the acoustic piano is, there are lots of other technologies like the player piano, self-playing pianos, reproducing pianos, pianos that can record and play back with the keys moving, like the Yamaha Disclavier, the Steinway Spirio, and other models like that. Anyway, and, and it's, he also has a wonderful section that gives an overview of the major brands, about 80 brands or so, that he gives a synopsis so that if you're going into a piano store and you see some unfamiliar names, this is a great resource so you can read up and learn more about the history of that, a brief history of that manufacturer, what some of their, uh, their goals, their manufacturing goals, what they're trying to do, uh, what they're trying to achieve with their particular instruments, what makes each one distinct. 
I can't say enough wonderful things about Larry Fine's incredible contribution to the world of the piano for both the professionals, for technicians, and for music lovers, and for the amateurs, the beginners, the first-time piano buyers. And this, if you're looking to get started with owning a piano or shopping around for a piano, or if you have an old piano and want to figure out what to do with it, this is a great first resource. Yeah? Getting the best of the acoustic and digital piano buyer. I would encourage you to check this book out. It's available on pianobuyer.com, also available on amazon.com, and in your favorite local bookstore. A great place to start to get a great overview. The articles are really easy to read, very understandable. It doesn't get so technical that it goes over your head. Even for a musician like me, especially, I think especially for musicians, uh, we can get intimidated by some of the technical jargon that our piano technicians talk to us about. But if anything, I think going through a book like this helps me to communicate to, to technicians better so that I have a better understanding in terms of what I'm looking for when I need to have a piano adjusted or fixed, or if I have to have uh, the piano sound a different way. I can speak a lot more intelligently because I, now I understand a lot better some of the ways that the piano actually work. And this book does a marvelous job of covering just about every aspect of getting, caring for, and even disposing of pianos, but, uh, and of course the differentiations between all the wonderful manufacturers that are out there. So uh, I highly recommend it, The Best of Acoustic and Digital Piano Buyer. Um, for A Musical Life, I'm Hugh Sung. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.